Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Almost every apps and website use icon extensively these days and one of the most important ways to give your app more graphical and visual depth is through the use of icons. Uh, in Power Platform, you can see numerous icons that is available through the icons option in Power Platform. But besides using this default option, there are different other ways that we can implement icons in this uh, power platform uh, since the icons that are provided here might not satisfy your need and you might want some other custom uh, icons that are not listed here so i would be demonstrating four different ways to use icons in power platform uh, we'll start with the first one which is the default uh, pre-included in the maker studio which is fantastic though there are few choices so uh, you can go to your left panel and click on this insert button and you can search for icon and then choose any icon. Now once chosen, you can change this icon from your left panel. Uh, there is an icon option and if you click on it, you can change it as well uh, so that you don't have to delete it and you have to add it again. You can just replace it. So if I don't want this icon, I can switches to sync icon then i can go and maybe i can use a check icon uh, so this is how you can use icons and switch it not just that you can click on this icon and there is a property called icon here and if you see here you can uh, there is an option called icon dot check so if i put icon here and see for the options there the all the icons that i can use are listed here so if i click airplane the airplane is uh, listed here so this gives you an easy way to implement uh, code in your icon as well based on the values uh, you can change the icons as well for example let me put a, a slider here and so based on the changes in the value of the slider, I can change the icon here, taking this property. So uh, I will use a level to see what values uh, the slider that I've just used here is giving here. So uh, I will, in, in, the, in the text option of this level, I will put uh, the name of this slider is slider1, so slider1 dot value and right now since it's in the middle so it's giving the value of 50 right so I'll, I'll just increase this text a little bit so what i want to do is uh instead of this icon there i is a bunch of emojis icons as well so there is a frown smile sad uh, neutral and happy icon so let's start with happy icon so what i can do is uh if uh, sorry so if uh, so the value of this slider if it's more than let's say 80 the icon emoji will be showing slider one dot value is greater than 80 then i want to show uh, emoji happy otherwise let's say uh, emoji Otherwise, I can say um, if slider dot value is greater than 40, slider 1 is greater than 40, I can, oh sorry, MOZ happy dot uh, emoji neutral and if not then i can put slider one uh, sorry not, not just a default value which would be icon dot emoji uh, sad so right now it's at 50 so it's neutral it's sad and then it's neutral and it's happy so this icon option gives you an option to uh, 
apply code to your uh, icon. Apart from that, there is also a rotation option. If you want to rotate this, you can use this value. Uh, so let's say 90. Uh, this is rotating, right? So let's uh, use this slider and rotate it. Let's put its maximum value as 180. And what I can do is I can put slider one dot value. So it's taking the angle that it needs to rotate from this slider. So at zero degree, it's fine. Then you kind of rotate it and it's changing. Yeah, so this is the first way of implementing icons. If you want to change color, you can just click it and change the color uh, like this. Uh, so the, the and you can use its on select property as well. If you want to trigger something, uh, you can put it in its on select property. If you want to like submit a form, if you want to patch a report, you can use its on select, select property. Uh, so as I've mentioned, like these icons which are listed here might not be enough for you like uh, all these icons listed here though they are like a bunch of uh bunch of all the commonly used icons listed here still in cases you don't you you're not being able to get the, the icons that you need you can use custom icons and place it here so now i'm going to talk about the second option that is using icons as photos but they are my least favorite because you cannot change color. You have to use a separate tools like Photoshop to change its color. Or maybe you have to create your own icons with your own colors. Uh, but nevertheless, there are like some bunch of websites where you can download these icons and place it in, in your application. Uh, so first one i'm using uh, a website called flaticons.com uh, you can find the link in the description of the website that i'm using to put the icons in my power apps so so let's say i want to download this uh, 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 let's say i want to download this part of uh, this icon and put it in my uh, in my power apps i can click on this download png and i can free download it Once it's downloaded, I can come to my Power Apps. I can insert an uh, image and go to my image and add an image option. Then from my download folder, I can use this and download it and put it in my Power Apps. The right set of uh, icons that you want to put from a custom uh, from uh, from these kind of websites, you can put it. Uh, there's also another website from where you can download image, which is uh, icons8.com. Uh, from there also, you can download your icons and place it in your uh, Power Apps. So these are like bunch of uh, download options uh, options, and you can search for your icons. Like let's say I want a document icon, I can search for it. And you can just put it in your website by uh, after downloading it. Uh, another option that is a very good way of doing it is using SVGs. One of the one of the coolest website that I have found about using SVGs in a website is by um, Matthew Devonay, and he has built a Power BI based uh, SVG builder for uh, free Power Apps icon. So this is uh, here you can see a bunch of Fluent UI icons which you can uh, use in your Power Apps application. So you, you have to choose. Uh, so there will be a bunch of icons listed here and from there you can choose. So let's say I want to use this uh, information icon or this alert icon. I can click on it and then I can choose which color I want to use. Let's say I want to use this uh, green sand ten color. I can click on it. Now, after you do that, uh, sorry. sorry. So I have to click on it. Now, once you've done, done that, 
there is a par as code that is generated here and uh, i will right click on it and i can copy the value i'll come back to my power apps and in the i i need to put image again so i'll just remove it go to my insert add a image control and instead of adding image in my image uh, in my image option i'll just paste whatever i have copied from there and then you can see that uh, there is a bunch of code that is i have got it from this website uh, you can also search for other kind of icons that you want to use let's say i want to use an icon to uh, for logging so uh, let's say i find this icon as appropriate i will click on it again i will select its color and then i will copy the power as code that is just generated copy value come back here and paste it if you feel like there is uh, these icons that are listed here are not good enough there are also other websites from where you can get these svg's icons uh, for example there is a website called icons.getbootstrap.com you can go over there and there are also like there are a bunch of icons uh, which you can use so for example this circle fill i want to use i can click on it and over here like if you see uh, there is an svg code that is generated for me i can copy this svg come back to my power apps and then here if you want to put svgs in your image this part data uh, and image slash svg xml this is absolutely needed whenever you want to put svgs in an image so what i will do is i will keep this as it is but i will replace this in the bottom and now if you see like it's not working anymore because uh the these quotations mark are being used uh inside the code so what i can do is instead of using double code i'll just replace it with my single code so single code here single code here uh, you can use uh, tools to find and replace these codes uh, these code into single code uh, for now i'll just do it manually because I, it seems like there's not that much of code. Okay, so all set. And if I come here and see, this icon is now here. So three options of uh, using icons in Power Apps is covered. Now, another interesting option that you can use is using Unicode symbol. There are essentially, uh, essentially symbols that you may use and copy and paste wherever you like. So there are like a bunch of website from where you can use this symbol. Uh, first one is materialui.com from where you can get unique characters. So I'm going to uh, this website called materialui.co. So you can see that there are a bunch of Unicode icons that you can put it in your website. Let's say you want to use this Unicode symbol. I'll click copy and instead of using image now this time i will be using a level i'm just removing everything and i'm inserting a level and i can paste it here so if you see like there is a small icon that is showing here and if you its size it does not change by dragging the size of the label but you can change your font size to increase its size so let's say i'll put it 48 you can see that this icon is there so this comes really handy uh, for uh, cases where you are using something like a button so let's say i'm using a button here and uh, what i want to do is i want to make a new button and i want to have a plus icon here uh, the usual way would be I will go to my insert, uh, search for add, and put that add icon. And then you have to change its color. And you might need to adjust it a little bit and you, you use it like that. 
once instead of doing that what you can do is you can go to uh, again you can copy the symbol paste it here and use it which uh, which is much more easier as well uh, let me go back to my uh, uh, unicode character website and search for an add icon let's a plus icon so i copy this plus icon come back here and instead of using this plus what i will do is i will just put copy that place plus and put it here and now you don't have to use multiple controls but uh, you you can just you've just achieved this using uh, this control and uh, not just plus you can use other icons uh, that are not available by by default let's say you want to use you can use this clockwise app uh, Cape to uh, circle arrow option. Come back here and you paste it here and maybe call it a refresh button. Uh, so there are also a bunch of websites that you can use to put uh, these Unicode symbols into your website. Another one is you can get from W3C schools. Uh, here also you can see a bunch of webs, a uh, bunch of icons that you can put here from sun to cloud to umbrella to uh, these finger pointing emojis as well which you can copy, come to your website and paste it. You can see that they have a bit of colors as well. Uh, let me increase my size. So yeah, uh, you can see what is good for you and you can put it into your website not just the website that i have listed but you can also search for these into any of your from your search engine there are number of numbers of websites that provide these unicode symbols provide these svgs which you can use it in your uh, in your application i'm using this flash application and let's say uh, let's call it gill Yeah, so something like that, very great way of make it less resource consuming as well. Uh, let me know about uh, what you think about this uh, four approaches of putting icons in your website. If you enjoy my video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, see you in next video.